Hey guys, this is Pierre from Spider TV and Canam SpiderAccessories.com. Welcome to my shop. It's a pretty full house today. It's winter here in Canada and I got the bikes inside. Gotta make some videos and this one is gonna be about one of these. This is gonna be on how to change your battery on the RT series Canam Spider 2010 to 2013. So the guinea pig for this video is going to be my 2010 RTS Can-Am Spider. So I'm going to give myself just a little bit of extra work, a couple of extra minutes. I'm going to take off the seat on my Can-Am Spider so I can get the best camera view of where we're going to be working on the battery, which is situated right underneath your seat. So, but to be able to do that, I have an ultimate seat. It's more cramped because of the way the seat is made to where I need to get my hands. So I got to take off the backrest as well. So I might as well show you how I did it in case you want to do it too. Just a little tip for you, get a wet rag with you for this exercise. Uh, you'll notice that uh, underneath your seat, uh, it's really dirty. So you'll be uh, wanting to wipe your hands as you move forward. So you don't put uh, handprints all over the bike. To be able to remove the seat, we, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the cylinder uh, that helps you uh, bring the seat up when you want to gas your, uh, your bike. Uh, as you can see here, I do have some help with me. I got a, a little hammer I put here to hold the seat. Uh, mine is an ultimate seat and like I said, it's really heavy and it's a, a little cramp uh, where the backrest is. So it's actually putting a pressure, uh, pressure to bring it down. Where are we going to need to go? All right, let me zoom in here. This is the place that we're going to need to go. I'm going to walk around to the other side now. All right, so you're going to need a flathead screwdriver if you've got a, a little one like this. This is going to be able to, to do the job. You want to be able to get in there and there's a little clamp that's there. And you, as you insert the flathead screwdriver, you'll notice that you can actually like pull it this way towards the outer edges. And as you do that, the cylinder is just going to come out. So here we go. It's already out, but I'm going to leave it there so I can remove the one that's on top now. So the other clip is right here up top and same thing. Well, this time it's going to be towards you. I'm on the outside of the bike and uh, I'm going to insert my flathead screwdriver here and I'm just going to use both hands for this. Try to get in there and same thing. You pull towards you and now that cylinder is just going to come right out. So the other part to taking apart this, uh, this seat or taking it off is I'm trying to, here we go, we'll situate you here. So right between the backrest and the seat, you have two 10 millimeter bolts there on each side. And you're going to go ahead and have, this is where I'm going to go with my finger. You got one there and the other one right across. And you got to try to get in there. And as you can see, when I say cramp, that's what I'm talking about here. It's kind of hard to get in there. So what you're going to need to do is a very small ratchet, like a, a key that has a 10 millimeter. And you can just a little bit. But I'm going to be taking off the backrest here so I can actually have more room to play with because the stock seat finishes right here. You don't have all this extra stuff here. So as you can see, I don't have much room to be able to crank that ratchet. So I'm going to be taking this off to help me out a little bit. To be able to remove the backrest, we're going to need to go inside the rear trunk. And you're going to have three screws to remove. you got one here, one there, and another one down here. So since I have a rear trunk organizer here, I can't uh, pretty much get a screwdriver in there. So, so a small ratchet. It's a Torque 30. All of them are. So just go ahead and remove those. And then your backrest will actually just fall on the seat. And we'll have a little bit more room to work with. All right, I've gone ahead and removed the seat and those two 10 millimeter bolts that were right here. Um, one of the things that you have to remember is that it's actually right there when we take it out. On this side here, when you pull out on that screw and you're going to be pulling it this way, there's going to be a little square piece here, a square nut. Now you need to put your hand there. You don't want that to fall down here or worse, drop a bolt down here. So even before you go ahead and remove those bolts, uh, I would go ahead and put a cloth here. Uh, we'll call this we'll call this a big black hole. You don't want to lose anything here. So go ahead and block that with a cloth. So when you pull out on that bolt, if you drop it, it's not going to go down here. I'm just going to take a minute and wipe everything down here. 
as it does uh, get really dirty so you're gonna need to uh, unplug this as well here so you just go ahead and put your fingers on there thumb and you can just pull on that you're gonna need to remove two screws for now the ones that I'm asking you to remove are this one and this one right here For this part, we're going to be removing this panel right here, just next to the uh, the uh, end rail. So to be able to do that, since you've taken away those two screws, this here is this is going to be loose here. But you're going to need to lift up this little part of plastic here. Now keep in mind that it's already secured in other places, so you do have a little bit of movement, but not too much. So be careful with that. And you're going to take the back end, and we're going to swing it towards the inside. I'm going to ask you to remove the plastic completely so we can have more room to work with. To be able to do that, you can see here you got some wires, you got a little black clip. All you need to do is just pull towards you on this black clip, upwards like that, and give a slight pressure on the wires as well, it's going to come right off. And as it does now, you can just remove that piece. So here's a battery that we want to take out. And you actually want to be able to take out from this way. You want to be able to slide it up. But to do that, you're going to need to remove this little strap that's there. That's easy enough. Taking off the negative terminal that's right there. Yeah, that's easy enough. Now, the bad part. Where's the positive? Hello. Where's the positive terminal? They say that you should just be able to uh, slide the battery out and then take off the positive. Doesn't happen. The positive terminal is right here underneath that and it's got a, like about half an inch play on it it's really really tight in there so technically <laughs> we need to remove the side panel meaning side mirror side panel side panel down here and then take off this panel with the two screws here to be able to just get right here in the corner so you can unhook that positive so you can actually start pulling on that battery out and put the new one in but where there is a will, there is a way. All right, actually going to take a break for two minutes. Going to take a coffee, come back and see if we can take out the side panel right here without taking all of this off. Be back in two. I was just about to remove this panel and then I figured you may not have taken this panel off already. So we're going to need to take off this little panel here, which is the uh, the one where the oil change is on the, on the spider. you got a couple of rubber hole, uh, pins and some rubber holes are there. you got one here, you got another one up there, and one on the bottom. Now, uh, you probably don't have all this. This is air wings, so I actually had to uh, take off the bolt for my air wings. I'm actually going to pull on this panel now and show you how to take it out. So these are the three holes I was talking about. As you can see, I've put a little bit of white grease on these as I remove them often. Yes, you do check your oil right here. So uh, when you remove these, when you put them back, you'll see that with time, especially well, if you use a 210 213, that these uh, plastic or rubber will tend to want to split, open up, they dry up. So I just put a little bit of white grease there. It's never enough for the panel to want to come off, but it's just enough to keep it moist and keep it from cracking. We're going to be taking out two other screws now. This is the part where the uh, oil change is, so have a look just underneath here, right there. We're going to be removing that one, that's the Torque 30. And we're also going to be removing this one right here in the center. The two pins that we're going to need to pull on right here, let me just pull back so you get a better idea of where they are, just right here. These ones are not actually screws. They look like screws, but they're actually push pins. As you open the, the rear saddle bags, the one on the left hand side, you're going to see that you have two more screws to take out. You got one here and one here. So let's go ahead and take out those and we should be able to pry open a little bit of the plastic here and pull out that side panel. As I'm trying to remove the panel, I got a little surprise. So 
even I get surprises. Here we go. So let me bring my camera in there. And there's another one here. See this plastic here as I'm moving it. I can see that it's attached right there. So you got this third one. I had said one, two, eh, number three. For the two screws that are hidden behind this panel here, let me just show you exactly where they are so you're not looking around anywhere. So maybe about an inch to the right of this one underneath here on the black plastic, you're going to have a Torque 30 screw right here to take out. So if you lift this up a little bit, I actually had to stop filming because I was all by myself, but I was able to get a long screwdriver and just by prying a little bit I was actually be able to get in there not with the ratchet but with the screwdriver and torque 30 I was able to get at this one here so it is possible now the other one is just here so about I said about an inch and a half inside of this one and I, I was surprised to find that I had I didn't have a screw but I actually had a push pin so I'm not sure if this was there the original because it's hard for me to see behind the panel it could be a torque 30 screw or it could be a push pin one or two so this one was push pin i was actually able to get with a screwdriver get in there and pull it out i did use my rag against this here to make sure i wouldn't damage my panel and the same thing here i did hold that there uh, so i wouldn't damage anything Isn't that beautiful? So we've taken off the side panel without taking off the mirror and the front panel. I think that's pretty good. Where there is a will, there is a way, guys. Approaching the bike now as we've removed the side panel. Here we go, guys. You can see that your positive terminal is right there. It's gonna take you a 10 millimeter socket to be able to just take that out or you can use a a star screwdriver but go ahead with the 10 millimeter just remove that and that's going to be that positive wire that we, terminal that we were talking about let's go ahead and remove the negative terminal right here and this strap right here Once you've removed the screw, just don't forget that inside the block here, you actually have a little square nut. So when you take out your battery, if you haven't taken that out already, it's going to fall out. So I would try to go ahead and take that nut out so you don't lose it. Taking out a battery is going to need you to pull it towards you first because you've got a steel bracket here, you've got another one right here. So you can't go up, you can't go that way. The only way you can go is towards you. So let's start by doing that. As I'm pulling the battery towards me, you can see I'm missing just a little bit of room to be able to swing it upwards. And the uh, inch and a half or inch that I'm missing is actually because the other part of this bracket that's here, this plug, this plastic plug, which is about like an inch, an inch and a quarter wide, is actually stuck there. It's actually pinned to the metal. So as I can see here, there's a hole. I'm going to get some long nose pliers. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to squeeze that and that little plastic casing is just going to come out. It's going to give me that extra room so we can move that battery towards us. So let's give this another try. While doing a project like this, I consulted with one of my friends, Marcel Lebeau. Marcel Lebeau is actually uh, the owner of a franchise here that we have that's all things batteries. It's called Battery Expert. It's in Canada. Not sure if it's in the States. I don't think so, but you probably have the equivalent back in the States. So I started talking with Marcel. I said, listen, Marcel, if we want to change battery, can, can it be done by, you know, the beginner like me? He said, yeah, Pierre, you know, a little bit of patience and you'll be able to change your battery. I said, but there are there 
there are options. Do I need to go to my dealer to get one? He says, well, Pierre, for somebody that wants, you know, a, a turnkey, doesn't want the hassle, don't want to take apart the bike, he'll go to the dealer, he'll buy the battery from the dealer, get it installed there, and that's all fine. I said, Marcel, you know, the little do-it-yourself kind of guy for small budget? He says, yes, there are some options for batteries. So, the one that I took off the, the Canon Spider that you saw me take off is the TC Trans Canada right here. This is actually my battery, which I changed about 18 months ago on a 2010. So there is a TC that's available. And then he said, well, this is made in China. I had a small budget and I went with a low price. So this was 120 bucks Canadian. Now, there are other options, which is USA. And I think USA, if I'm not mistaken, this would be the battery of the company that's used by BRP for the Canon Spyro and the original one. I don't have my original anymore and I wanted to check this, but from the information I got, and maybe you can write in the comments if I got this right, USA, is a manufacturer for the battery on the Canon Spider. So you can buy a use of battery, that's about $180 Canadian. You can translate that minus 30% for a US price, I guess. And the Odyssey series, uh, once again, this is made in USA. And uh, the price on this is about $190 Canadian. So there are three options that I found in my neck of the woods, that's in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. There are probably a lot of options where you're at, you know, if you Call an auto parts store, somebody that, you know, specializes in batteries. They got programmed for this. They already know what goes on the Canon Spider. You can get your options from them. So that was the project, take out the battery or replace the battery on the 2010 to 213 Canon Spider. For the 214s, I'm going to make another video, the 214 to 270, because that battery ain't in the same place. So. I hope you enjoyed that. Was it a hard project? It just takes a little bit of patience. I guess it's like anything else. Uh, BRP products, especially Canon Spider, it's layers upon layers upon layers. So you just gotta be ready for that. It helps if you're doing it indoor and don't lose any screws and just take a little bit of notes on what you're doing. Take some pictures and I mean, get yourself some cardboards and write down, hey, I took this from there and I took this from there and put all your screws well spread out. If you're doing it in a close, uh, you know, in a small area, you're doing it outside, you're just running out after trouble so just try to make sure that you have some space because we did take off some panels you don't want to scratch anything so take your time uh, difficulty level from you know zero to ten on this I'd say it's like a five five and a half uh, how long did it take me well it's kind of hard to gauge because I'm filming both in French and English I'm moving the camera around but I gather anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes and you've got, probably got this job taken off now you know you got to replace the battery put it back so Altogether, if you put aside like an hour and a half, I think you'll be okay. And I think you'll be really proud that you change your own battery only for the cost of the parts. Now, is it for everybody? No, it isn't. I mean, if you want a turnkey, you got a couple of hundred dollars and it's within your budget, then get it done at the dealer. And if not, if you want to do it yourself, you're going to run into problems I don't think so. I mean, I think this is a pretty straightforward project, especially if you don't have to take off that mirror. So. Once again, when you take off the small, the, that side panel, take into consideration that you have to pry the plastic. You know where that was, right? Where we, we were playing around the gas tank and we had to pry the plastic. So you do that at your own risk. I was able to do mine. Did I think that it was dangerous and I almost broke something? Absolutely not. Was I careful not to scratch my paint and my plastic? Did I use a, a rag, a microfiber? Did I be careful with a screwdriver? Of course I did. So all in all, I think it's doable. Uh, hey guys, my name is Pierre, and you've been watching Spider TV and CanAmSpiderAccessories.com.